Massively multiplayer action isn't just for knights and bards anymore. Test Drive Unlimited is the world's first console racing game to utilize the concept. But don't expect to strike Mario Andretti for massive damage. It's all about dropping the clutch, and as unique as the concept is, some lackluster execution keeps this one from reaching the level cap. Be on the lookout for any Racing games aren't particularly noteworthy for their stories, but Need for Speed Most Wanted has already proven that it can be done. The setup for Test Drive Unlimited is fine. You're a hotshot driver who hops a plane to Hawaii in hopes of becoming one of the island's esteemed wheelmen. Once he gets there, the story makes an abrupt cliff dive into no man's land. Your only motivation is to build your wealth and stock your garage with some of the finest rides on the planet. For some, this is more than enough reason to keep on racing, but for most, it's a lost opportunity. As a single-player racer, Test Drive Unlimited is, ironically, limited. The entire island of Oahu is your playground, and you can open up a map that shows the whole of it, complete with icons to designated challenges and places of interest. When you first arrive, you must spend your bankroll on your first car and a pad. To put food on the table and more cars in your garage, you have to head out and complete challenges. They come in just a few forms. There are point-to-point -point races, delivery missions where you pilot exotic cars from one area to another, or taxi missions where you're asked to take models to their desired location. I wouldn't want to be seen in that kind of car. A smattering of speed trap races where you must impress the radar gun at particular points of the course round out the relatively simple list of race types. As you complete challenges, you're asked to drive to new parts of the island for more of the same. However, you won't have to manually drive every time as you can warp to any areas you've already visited and then pick up the trip from there. All this time behind the wheel is to roll up cash in hopes of buying some of the game's licensed vehicles, or to upgrade your abode with more garage space. You can also change your driver's clothes with credits you receive from running the models around, which is a nice finishing touch on an already robust character creation interface. Test Drive Unlimited is a massively multiplayer game after all, so it only makes sense that this portion of the software would be the most robust. This certainly holds true, but the interface for getting together and burning some rubber could be a lot easier to manage. First, the good stuff. If you're connected to Xbox Live, you'll see real human drivers cruising around the island looking for some action. If you're ready to go, you can flash your car's headlights and your rival will have the opportunity to accept or reject the race. Then it's up to you to designate just how long the race will be. It's incredibly cool and pulled off well. You can also buy and sell cars with other human players, which can come in handy when you have garage fodder to cast off and you need a few extra bucks to buy that Ferrari. However, setting up a race with someone on your friends list isn't quite so simple. You can create a race for people to join, complete with mapping out the course and setting up all the parameters for the race. Then your session appears on the map like any other challenge. The catch is that you're putting up your own cash as a prize, so you might find yourself joining other people's races instead of creating them. Trying to get someone on your friends list to join the race is easier said than done. You can notify them of the race, but many times they'll try to join and not be able to find the race icon on their map due to a limit in the amount of other racers you can interact with. One huge downer is that there's no way to race a friend on one system. For a game that's supposed to be built around multiplayer options, this is a huge oversight. A massively multiplayer racing game is a great idea, and in this case, one that's mostly executed well. But somewhere along the way, the developer has forgotten that not everyone has broadband in Xbox Live. Right, Hawaii is a beautiful place, and a location that most would seemingly never tire of. Yet after a handful of hours with Test Drive Unlimited, you'll wish there was some variety in the environments. You can only see so many roads stretching through rows of trees before you'll wish Hawaii was a little more diverse. There are patches of cityscape, but just as fast as you come upon them, they're gone. Perhaps the better idea would be to create a fictional landscape that provides a wider variety of terrain. With that said, the roads provide plenty of hills and curves to negotiate, though the computer AI never really manages to put up a fight, as it follows a predetermined path time after time. Eventually, you'll enter 30-mile races that will test your patience, but not necessarily your skill. You know what? I'll walk from here. The licensed cars all handle quite well, with slight nuances to controlling each. The perfectly modeled in-cockpit view is certainly the most visceral perspective to play from, though it also makes the game much more difficult. If you play games just for the fun of it, you'll love it. Even if you do wrap your 350Z around a telephone pole, you won't have to worry as the cars do not take visible damage or handle poorly after an off-course excursion. Just like the Gran Turismo series, you'll never build too strong of a bond with one particular car. 
Most races have class requirements, and with no tuning options for the cars, you'll have to build a well-rounded garage to make headway. With a maximum of just seven other cars in each race, you're not going to swap a lot of paint. But that doesn't mean that the boys in blue aren't watching. Wreak enough havoc, and they'll be on your tail. But it doesn't take long for them to lose interest. Stop searching and resume patrol. Test Drive Unlimited has solid handling and more courses than you can shake a stick shift at. The computer doesn't put up much of a challenge, but with the beefy online functionality, if you have Xbox Live, it's not an issue. If you've already exhausted Project Gotham Racing 3, Test Drive Unlimited is your next fix. It has issues like terrain that pops into view, odd stutters as the game tries to stream in parts of the island, and an archaic multiplayer interface, but once you get used to it, the consumer in you will push you onward to fill your garage with a stable of ultra-slick vehicles. With a $40 price tag and truly revolutionary design, if you give it a chance, you'll end up hooked. It's an auspicious rebirth of a classic franchise, but it's obvious that it could have spent a few more days on the assembly line.